ping pong. It's a sport we all claim to be familiar with. But do we really know ping pong? Do we know the physics of ping pong? Well, I hope that after watching this video, you'll be able to know ping pong on a more personal level. begin by describing the physical makeup of the ping pong ball. Now, as all of you know, the ping pong ball bounces very well when it comes into contact with the ping pong table. But why is this? Well, Newton's third law helps us to understand. Because it states, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So that's why whenever it hits the table, it bounces up with as much force as it hit it. Like this. The ping pong ball is very hollow on the inside, and it's also made of a plastic material called celluloid. And these two factors combined to uh, help make the ping pong ball very good at conserving energy as it bounces, so that it can bounce well and bounce uh, repeatedly. But it's not just the ping pong ball that plays a role in this, it's also the surface of the table. If the table were made of like a carpet material or some kind of soft material, it would, it would absorb the energy and the ping pong ball wouldn't be able to bounce very well. But it's made the way it is so that it's not good at absorbing the energy and it can keep bouncing and it sends the energy through the ping pong ball so that you can keep playing and you don't have to worry about it just stopping dead. Newton's third law is amazing. <laughs> Newton's first law states that an object at rest wants to stay at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. Or an object in motion wants to stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. So, uh, this concept is called inertia, and uh, inertia really plays a crucial role in ping pong, because if, unless we apply force to the ping pong ball, it's just going to stay there, and after one player applies force to the ping pong ball, it wants to keep moving, but the other player uses uh, force to send the ping pong ball back in the other direction. So you can see how inertia plays a really crucial role. The last concept I will be talking about in this video is gravity. It plays a big role in, uh, in the game of ping pong. Uh, firstly, it it's what causes the players to be able to stand and uh, stay where they are and play instead of floating off into outer space. And uh, it also causes the ball to uh, sink down, accelerate down if you will, and hit the table, or in some cases go over the table or hit the net. But um, So that's why whenever you hit it, it uh, it goes back down because after you hit it, it's accelerating, gravity is causing it to accelerate downwards at 10 meters per second squared. And um, so really without gravity, I don't think ping pong would be possible. So we owe a lot to gravity. And that is the end of my physics ping pong video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you and ping pong I've really gotten to know each other on a personal level. I hope it continues to grow. Thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to what I had to say. Yeah.